So you don't need to be a winner of something to put it in your achievement. You don't need to be a winner. Even if you've done something which shows your hard work, put it in your achievements. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a killer resume using ChatGPT and Overleaf. So everyone knows about ChatGPT, but not a lot of people know about Overleaf. And I have been personally using Overleaf for all of my resume and I even encourage my students to use Overleaf as it uses latex to create your code or to create your resume, which is impressive for the interviewer. And recently in my top mate calls, I've been getting a lot of questions like how do I make a good resume? What is an ideal resume that would get selected for the interview or what changes to make in my resume? So I've been getting a lot of questions like that. So I decided to make a video. And by the way, you can book a top mate call with me on topmate.io slash Ashish code where I can help you personally for your placements or to crack your dream company. And you can use code YouTube 30 to get 30% off, which is only valid for the first 15 users. And it's already been used seven times. So anyways, back to the video, a lot of people will tell you that you can just directly use a prompt to chat GPT and get the latex code that you can write something like, you know, give me a latex code for my resume and then give it the information like my name is Ashish Kumar and my achievements are this, my projects are this, my job is this and this is not a good idea because even though it will create a resume for you, it will give you a latex code but it's not going to be very good looking because right now what ChatGPT is doing is it's just creating a latex code for you. It's not really considering the readability or the prettiness or the layout etc and you'll have to do a lot of back and forth with ChatGPT to get that. So instead of just getting the whole thing from scratch from ChatGPT, what you can do is you can use some of the templates that are already existing in Overleaf. And my favorite template is Ronak Dedia's CV. So you can just Google Ronak Dedia Overleaf, you'll get this template. And all you need to do is just say open as template and you'll get the entire latex code of this resume. So you can see here is the latex code and here is the output that you'll see on the right hand side so here it's a resume the layout of this resume i really like and you can make changes to this resume accordingly so if you want to change your name then you can just edit it here and if you want you can edit every little attribute that there is according to you right so once you do that and you click on compile you'll get everything on the right hand side and if you don't want to use this exact resume then you have a lot of other templates that you can choose from so I'll give the link to these templates in the description. You can choose whichever one you like. So for example, if you want to add your picture, you can use something like this or something like this. So there's a lot of options to choose from. If you're a data analyst, you can choose something with a pie chart. If you're a machine learning engineer, you can choose something a little bit different. So there's a lot of templates to choose from. You can choose whatever version you want and then edit. But while you're editing, that's the main thing. And that's where chat GPT comes in. So a lot of times what I've seen, the main issue that I've seen in students is that they lack creativity and they lack a little bit of imagination. So even if someone has a lot of skills and has achieved a lot of things and has made great projects, they're not able to show it in the resume. So you have to showcase what you've done in the resume in a manner that is impressive. And that's where chat GPT is going to help you out. So suppose you want to write about your project. So suppose I've made a project, which I did which is called connect, which is a social media website and whatever it is. So I'll give all that information to chat GPT. Okay. In a prompt, I'll give it the information that I've made a project for my resume called connect, which is a social media website that uses algorithm to check if two people have similar tastes, like from Spotify list or Netflix, whatever it may be. And then I have written, write a good description for this project along with technologies. I did, you can edit it later, but this is just to get a start. So just write this whatever your project is and then see the magic happen. So you can see that it has given a great description for the simple project that we have made. Now you can edit it according to you. You can ask it to extend it. You can ask it to make it smaller. You can ask it to make it more brief. You can add some technologies. You can use chat GPT to edit every part of your resume according to that. And the most important part of your resume are the projects and the experience that you have. So like this, whatever project that you've made, you can ask ChatGPT to make it look good for the resume. And then you can copy it from here, go to the template and wherever the project section is, you can just paste it and it will come here. So this you can do for every section, the project section, the achievement section, the education section, the whatever is there, you can use it 
for every section and like this you can use chat gpt to make your resume more optimal or more readable you can even write something like that make it more optimal for selection and you can see it will do so it will use the relevant keywords it will make it better it will make the content that you're writing better so like this you can cover every part of the resume you don't need anything else you just need two things chat gpt and overly so now that you have some idea of how to make a resume i really want to hammer this home and i want to tell you what you can do what to put where and everything in detail so imagine this is your resume fine so one mistake that i see a lot of people make is that they put their education and then they put their projects at the very last i remember one student who had his interest in hobbies over here he had everything over here which didn't mean anything and then the most important thing he had put in the back that is a really bad idea what you need to do is you need to put the most important thing at the beginning a general idea of how things should be let me show you so a very good general idea is to first obviously here should be your name your uh, contact whatever it may be and then next part should be for your education right education remember always to go from past to the future so you can tell your 10th 11th 12th you can tell your college and then like that and then you can put your marks you can put your resume so marks and cgp you can put in the bracket you can highlight it if it's good if it's not good you don't need to put it or you don't need to highlight it after the education then you should put your experience which is important if you've already been working then you need to put that and in your experience you should actually go into details of the work you did in your previous company you can again use chat gpt for this right you can just use chat gpt and amplify what you've done even if you've not done anything at least make it seem like you were a very important part of the company after that the next important thing is your projects so this is an order of priority right education is should be at the top you know even though it's not it might not be that important or relevant to your skills but still put education at the top then this is in priority order you have experience you have projects now projects is actually very important especially if you're a fresher so what you need to do is you need to have one main project that i always tell my students one main project which i also like to call the ace project this is the main project which will be the highlight of your resume this is the project that i just showed you the social media website connect that i had made so this is the main project the ace project it will be at the top so let's say suppose this much section is for your education fine this much section is for your work experience let's say if not work experience then put projects here if work experience then you can put project down below so either work experience or projects will be here so you know either you have work experience or you have projects okay so at the top put your main project the ace project this is the project which will highlight it you don't need to put a lot of resume lot of projects in your resume i see some people putting seven eight projects and all of them are very basic project like calculator app or notepad you don't need to put those projects put only two or three projects but those projects should be of high standard remember that okay so you put your projects here you put your work experience here then the next thing is that you need to put your achievements right so i remember one student which i recently had i said ki you should put your achievements here and then he said that he didn't have any achievements but then i met then i went more into details and turned out that he had actually gotten a good rank in icpc although he didn't win but he had a good rank he had taken part in a lot of hackathons he has done 600 coding problems on lead code so you don't need to be a winner of something to put it in your achievement you don't need to be a winner even if you've done something which shows your hard work put it in your achievements if it's an achievement section you don't need to be a winner of something if you have done something it shows your dedication it shows your passion then you need to put it here you need to put it in your achievement section remember that after your achievement section then you have your skill section so this really doesn't matter because anyways they'll test you on your skills but fine you should at least mention the skills you have so everything that you know mention it but obviously the things you're confident at put them at the top the things you're not that confident at you can put it in the middle or the last and you can even mention your proficiency and after that you can put the stuff that doesn't matter much 
like your passion your hobbies yada 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 whatever you want but these four are the most important boxes so these are the four main boxes that will make a difference in the decision of the person looking at it whether to select you or not so all of these sections take the help of chat gpt follow whatever i said and then make your resume and trust me you'll have a killer of a resume you'll have a beast of a resume that will help you get selected everywhere